Hello friends. Join me as I dive deep into the dark side of TikTok and uncover Ali Abulabin's sinister crimes. Shocking crimes have shaken the TikTok community to its core. One name that comes to mind is Ali Abulabin, also known as Jin Kid, a TikTok creator living a double life. Welcome to the dark side of TikTok, where the glamour and glitz of social media fame can conceal sinister secrets. Today, we will delve into the disturbing story of Ali Abulaban, a creator who amassed a massive following on the platform, but was hiding a darker truth. Ali Abulaban's journey on TikTok began like many others. He started posting short, engaging videos that quickly caught the attention of viewers. His content ranged from humorous skits to motivational talks, and he seemed to have a natural talent for connecting with his audience. Over time, his follower count soared, and he became a well-known figure on the platform. The tragedy had fans wondering what they failed to see while watching the videos the couple posted, but experts say the pressures of quick highlight reels on social media make it difficult for domestic abuse victims to speak out about a reality that differs from their perfect image. Ali's charm and relatability were key factors in his rise to fame. He often shared personal stories and interacted with his fans, creating a sense of community. This authenticity, however, was a carefully constructed facade. Behind the scenes, Ali was orchestrating a web of deceit and manipulation. Uncovering and addressing online crimes is a daunting task. With the anonymity of the internet, perpetrators can easily hide behind usernames and avatars, making it challenging for authorities to track them down. Moreover, Online crimes often leave victims feeling helpless and vulnerable, with few avenues for seeking justice. The lack of physical evidence and the ephemeral nature of online content only adds to the complexity of these cases. Furthermore, the sheer volume of online activity makes it difficult to identify and prioritize potential threats. Ali Abulaban's sinister activities on TikTok went unnoticed for a long time. He presented himself as a charming and relatable creator, amassing a massive following and gaining the trust of his fans. A storm of manipulation brewed beneath his seemingly calm exterior. He exploited his online influence to prey on vulnerable individuals, using his charisma to conceal his true intentions. For months, his followers were oblivious to the sinister nature of his online persona. As we'll see, Ali Abulaban's crimes were meticulously planned and executed leaving a trail of victims in his wake. His online activities were a masterclass in manipulation, showcasing his ability to deceive and exploit those around him. This incident lays bare the chilling reality of online predators, underlining the need for constant caution online. Ali Abulaban's TikTok fame was built on a foundation of lies and deceit. He used his online platform to project a false image one that was carefully crafted to gain the trust of his followers. However, beneath the surface, he was hiding a dark secret that would eventually lead to his downfall. Prosecutors paint a disturbing picture of Ali Abulaban, the man behind the seemingly carefree online persona of TikTok star Jin Kid. They allege he exhibited controlling and emotionally abusive behavior towards his wife, Anna, who was seeking a divorce. This disturbing pattern reportedly escalated to installing a listening device on their daughter's tablet to spy on Anna. Despite an initial confession, Ali ultimately pleaded not guilty to the fatal shootings of Anna and another individual. The key moment when Ali Abulaban's crimes were exposed came as a shock to the TikTok community. The revelation sent shockwaves through the platform, leaving fans and followers reeling in disbelief. The consequences that followed were severe, with Ali Abulaban facing the full weight of the law. The consequences of Ali Abulaban's crimes were far-reaching, impacting not only his victims, but also the wider TikTok community. The incident raised important questions about online safety and the responsibility of social media platforms in addressing these concerns. It also highlighted the need for greater awareness and education about the risks associated with online interactions. Ali Abulaban faced a complex web of accusations. Authorities meticulously examined a vast amount of digital evidence, including videos, messages, and online interactions, to understand the full picture. 
They aim to identify victims and support them while piecing together Abu Laban's activities. During his arraignment in San Diego County Superior Court, Abu Laban pleaded not guilty to two murder charges and special circumstances alleging multiple killings, according to news reports. Despite confessing to detectives and accusing his wife of infidelity, the prosecutor believed the other victim was a friend. Ana Abu Laban had initiated a separation on October 18th, requesting her husband to leave. While she pursued a divorce, Ali Abu Laban stayed in a hotel temporarily. Three days later, he reportedly snuck back into their apartment, trashed it, and installed a listening app on their daughter's iPad to spy on his wife. The app allegedly captured his wife and a man talking, triggering Abu Laban's rage. Security footage showed him rushing back to their apartment. He reportedly shot the man three times before fatally shooting his wife. He then called his mother with a confession. Despite being armed, Abu Laban picked up his daughter from school after the shootings. While driving, he called the police and was apprehended within 45 minutes. The media and public closely followed the legal proceedings against Abu Laban, who faced a multitude of charges. Prosecutors presented extensive evidence demonstrating his manipulative and controlling behavior. Judge Kimberly Legata denied bail and issued a protective order, barring Abu Laban from contacting his daughter who remains in the care of relatives. With the special circumstance allegations meaning multiple first-degree murder charges, a potential death penalty loomed if he was found guilty. The trial served as a grim reminder of the dark side of online fame and the real-world consequences of virtual actions. The impact on Ali Abu Laban's victims was profound. Many of them experienced severe emotional trauma, and their trust in others was shattered. Some struggled with anxiety and depression as a result of their interactions with him. It's essential to recognize the long-lasting effects of online crimes on victims and to provide them with the necessary support and resources to heal. Ali Abulaban's case highlighted significant issues regarding online safety and the responsibility of social media platforms. It prompted discussions about the need for stricter regulations and more robust measures to protect users from online predators. It also underscored the importance of educating the public about the potential dangers of online interactions and the importance of digital literacy. Let's recap the main points discussed today. Ali Abulaban's sinister crimes on TikTok are a stark reminder of the dangers of online interactions. His story highlights the importance of raising awareness about online safety and the need for greater vigilance in the digital age. That's all we have for today, fellow Midnight Society members. Did this discussion spark some chills down your spine? Who should we investigate next? Spill the tea in the comments. We thrive on your insights, so don't be a stranger. Let us know your thoughts below. And hey, if you enjoyed this chronicle, smash that like button and subscribe for more spooky explorations. Sharing the darkness is always encouraged, so spread the word by sharing this video. Until next time, keep those flashlights charged and your curiosity burning bright. With a wink and a shiver, The Bradford Chronicles.